Bay Area is changing forever. Will San Francisco's new overlords find a place in their hearts for this? Trader Vic's, one of the last of its kind, started in Oakland, one of a wave of tiki-themed Polynesian fantasy restaurants, bars, and nightclubs that for a time spread across America. I definitely need the drinks menu. I've been beaten like a chicken fried steak, you know? Why? Uh, I did oh, do you it. were doing some sort of martial yes, art, were you? Yes, yes. I want the Mai Tai wave. What's the Mai Tai wave? It's a flight of Mai Tais. Really? <laughs> it's like a surfboard with three different Mai Tais. Not many places left that do this. Very few do it without irony. And this is not the first time you've been here. No, I practically grew up in this place. Really? My parents used to take me from like about age three. It was like a home birth at Trader Vic's. And, and then I... Author Sean Wilsey grew up in San Francisco. His parents were regulars at the original downtown Vic's. I used to drop acid and go to Hawaii Kai, so this kind of thing is a taste of my childhood too. Oh yeah. So oh, cool. <laughs> I got sent to boarding school right. when I was a teenager. An East Coast boarding school where right. everybody was like, oh, you're from the gay bay. And it was really difficult to just negotiate being from San Francisco. I would lie and say that I was from Napa because I was embarrassed, you really? know? Yeah. I was at like a hockey school in Massachusetts. Uh -huh. And I was going to get hazed for being from San Francisco. Okay, so San Francisco for you as a kid was... Uh, I just uh, remember all sorts of factions, like there were all these skinheads and skaters, because that was like from the teenager's point of view. But then there were all the old hippies and like the slightly older beatniks and everything was really cheap. I mean, I don't think San Francisco has become an expensive rental town until maybe like the last 10 years. Okay. I love it, sort of this pan Pacific. Well, they have that like weird kind of tandoori Japanese Chinese oven. Right. That was really good. That was really good. Do you want that rib? No, no, go ahead. I'm taking it. Okay. I mean, the narrative you're hearing from a lot of people here now is. The evil techies are coming, driving up rents, pushing yeah. out the mom and pop, you right. know, uh, restaurants. Well, that's um, kind of a true thing. That's actually <laughs> so. It's the people everyone hates is Google now, right? Google and Twitter. And... They're really hated. Yeah, I mean by certain people. Right. And of course, like outside of San Francisco, it's like they're heroes. You know, they change the world. But yeah, we like them fine. Yeah, I Google things. It's legitimate. <laughs> yes. I, I, <laughs> You know, I Google things. So. <laughs> I do, it happens, right? But, but look, uh, excuse me. I mean, Google, they have their own buses, which is so apparently a, a, a yeah. bone of contention for people. Well, it is, yeah. I mean, the buses well, are. Is it in? I mean, I do know. I mean, apparently, like, if you work at Google or at Twitter, I mean, lunch is like, you know, freshly made frittatas, and, you know, you know there's some uh, Italian housewife <laughs> making burrata for you, there's someone making kale smoothies, you know, and I don't have any problem with it at all. I don't really either. No. I genuinely don't have a problem with that stuff at all. I think the only point about, like, the way a city is changing is you don't just want to screw up what's cool about it. Right. You know, like, the city has a personality. It feels like kind of a seedy, old school American city, you know? Do you just want to do the same everywhere you go? I think the San Francisco we're in right now is a pretty nice city. <laughs>